Bitcoin mining threatens the Paris Climate Agreement. Peter's going to tell us more on this Not So Critical update. Okay, so I'm not going to tell you much more because I don't actually know that much more. But I know a few bits enough to hold an opinion uh, which I will uh, die defending because that's how the internet works. Um, basically, the Swedish financial inspection people um, have said that if they allow cryptocurrency as a kind of approved thing in the country, then they'll run out of renewable energy. Let's see in a nutshell. And um, it threatens the Paris Climate Agreement. And it's just an a ecological disaster, basically. And frankly, I agree from what I know about crypto is that it uses a lot of energy to not do very much for the world, except make some people some pretend money. I know that John's going to disagree with me here, but um, I can't. I disagree with every single thing you said. (laughs) Only from the time you started talking until now. (laughs) Exactly. Listen, it's nothing personal. I just dislike you as a person. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. No, no, no. Um, Seriously. Wait, wait. I haven't finished yet. I haven't finished angering you. So um, the other point is that is that there are alternatives which use less uh, like power. Uh, but do basically the same thing. And the last thing is that, who was it, Chia Coin, um, who uh, we did some stuff on at work and I actually kind of tangentially in contact with them, are dicks. Um, because, um, yeah, more. I'm okay. sorry, but we, we mentioned them uh, as a sort of side thing. And it was n- in, like, it wasn't, it wasn't really about them. It was just like, hey, Chia Coin are doing this. And then they got, we got this sh- snotty reply from one of the developers saying, oh, yeah, thanks for blah, blah, blah. Like, I mean. Well, wait, Chia Coin, Chia Coin however you pronounce it, uh, uh, they're the storage, I believe. I believe they run, I think that they do. Um... Is it our currency? No, it is a cryptocurrency. I'm saying by, by Let's storage, go back to I why Peter they... was wrong. About yeah, yeah, money. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, let's keep, let's stay no, on track are, here. They, they are, and they, are they are doing, yeah, it is all about unused storage and like renting it, uh, which burns hard drives and SSDs, which yeah, 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 fuels yeah. the oh, got, uh, piles of, of e-waste more and more. Now, why did I, why do I disagree with you? Well, because also this kind of hits home. You know, I am Swedish. I'm, I'm, I was raised in Sweden, born in Sweden. I know I don't look like it, um, but that is that, that is where I'm from. You know that. So I can say, okay, I can blondes. say right now that Sweden is so the Swedish government is extremely backwards for being such a progressive country, and there's many examples I can use, but this is just the latest example where uh, the what what was it the finance the financial inspection uh authority did some did some google searches and then went to the eu and was like hey uh bitcoin bad okay and energy good so no mining in sweden and it's like who who even first off who are you you don't know what you're talking about second of all every single stat that this group said was wrong they were like one Bitcoin mind is the cost of a full jet flying, you know, across Europe. It's like, what are you talking about? They're, they're, and I don't know. It was just to me personally, I'm a cryptocurrency advocate. I know the proof of war coins, AKA mineable coins through hardware can be, and, and is currently very wasteful in both energy and e-waste. Don't, I, right. I don't disagree. I don't disagree. What I do disagree with is that they're going to run out of renewable energy because of some miners in Sweden. Well, no, no. I mean, also, it's but, not even, it's not even, it's not even financially, it's not even financially smart to mine in Sweden because I'll tell you why the Swedish tax system on cryptocurrency specifically is super backwards. Remember how I said before? Everything about Sweden and regulation is backwards. Here's another thing. 
the way the taxes work in Sweden for cryptocurrency is so backwards. Some people were getting taxed in the millions of percent. They made X amount, but they were being taxed like a hundred X more than what they made. Oh. Because Sweden is backwards. All okay. right. Okay. You've made the point. We get that you don't like the Swedish government and you think they're all idiots, but I yeah, want to know the details. Bitcoin. Down with the system. Yeah, yeah, love, yeah, yeah. Love. Okay, but but you said you said some you said some imaginary money. You were like some now. Yeah, I, that, okay, that was oh boy. just to wind you up, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, so I, I I because I think I think that I think that Sweden simply it was Sweden. I think that certain people of power in Sweden don't know what they're talking about. And took a hard stance on this because oh. Sweden's supposed to be the greenest country on earth. Okay, I would not let Mike speak here, but but <laughs> I want to hear some 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 uh, some stats from you, some facts, something to back up what you're saying. Because I I'm I'm in this the 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 situation of someone who doesn't really know much about this, except I do have a very firm viewpoint, which is you know perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> deliberately to wind you up but i i um would like to know more why is it uh, you know ec ecologically sound to mine cryptocurrency i think the point was not that it was they're going to run out of your renewal i mean our point of renewal is that it is renewable um but just that if they use all the renewable energy for mining cryptocurrency then then they would have to rely on fossil fuel for everything else um so you know <clears throat> Maybe. So here's the here's here's the here's the thing about mining crypto and 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 mining bitcoin and ethereum specifically when when we talk about the cost right Elon made headlines about this how he was like first he was like I love bitcoin and then he was like wait actually I don't like bitcoin because it costs so much and it's really inefficient the main the main goal of every crypto miner, this is coming from one, the main goal of every crypto miner is to pay as little as possible in energy. Yeah. There are, there are mining borderline conglomerates. These are, these are publicly traded companies that their whole business model is to mine Bitcoin that have already reached over 50% efficiency in electricity by using alternate means, solar, um, that you could, you could use, depending on where you are, you can use uh, hydroelectric farms, there's wind, there's so much you can do that makes the cost of mining Bitcoin uh, substantially less than if you just plugged it into the wall and, and did it the most inefficient route. So while currently, sure, the landscape looks a bit, I guess, grim in a way, it looks a bit dark, because we're looking at, at the possible outcomes, I think the worst outcome will actually be that there'll just be a lot of e-waste, which isn't good. It's it's terrible, though. I mean, aren't we, isn't the world kind of needs to stay away from that sort of stuff? I don't like whataboutism in debates, <clears throat> but what about all of the iPhones that are being pushed out, and the Android phones, and the MacBooks, and the and the appliances and the smart devices, all of the Alexas and Google, whatever the fuck they're called. There's so many and they're all being thrown into the bin for the new iteration. Look, okay. Genuinely, I don't know how to compare it. I don't know the numbers. I don't know the stats. It seems to me that mining crypto is, uh, takes up a lot of energy and because that's basically all it's doing is just running numbers. It's sure. just a CPU flag, yeah. uh, CPU yeah. going crypto. Yeah like really hard and i find it hard to believe and i I'm, I'm willing to be convinced otherwise that it's it's ecologically friendly in any no, way no tag, i tag never me actually in, said what T tag me okay. in here mike mike tap tap <laughs> All right so i've come around to this idea of is bitcoin a real currency or not the, clearly money is only valuable as currency because we say it is. There's nothing behind it. That's the idea of fiat currency. Gold, similarly, is only valuable because we say it's valuable, but has the advantage of being a limited resource. And I think this is the main thing it has in common with cryptocurrency. Similarly, 
when it was easier to mine gold, you got more of it for less effort. Now we're at the point where there's not as much around. What's left is harder to get to. It's much more labor intensive, much more costly, uh, many more prohibiting factors to getting a lot more gold out of the ground. And I think that's what we're seeing with, with cryptocurrency. All the, all the crypto coins just laying on the ground have been picked up. Now we've got to do some real digging. And I think we're getting to the point where it's beyond real digging. It's becoming like a huge project to get every last coin at this point. Clearly, there's a gigantic impact on the environment. In terms of like what impacts the environment more, uh, you know, mining for crypto coin or driving a car, or flying a plane, I don't know. This article about Sweden in particular, clearly some hyperbole there. But the point is, mining cryptocurrency is consuming resources that could be used for other, to, for other things. So I think there's two there, there's two questions I have or two concerns I might have is yes the in, uh, impact on the environment, but maybe t to John, like what a, how do you feel about the use of energy for crypto mining? driving up the cost of energy. And I, I mean, uh, it, becomes, it becomes unsustainable to mine crypto coin when the cost of mining it exceeds the value of having it, right? So the cost that goes into it is electricity. If you're consuming more electricity, the cost of the electricity should go up. Like that's the tax you're paying, but that's gonna raise electric prices for everyone. So why, why am I okay having my electric costs go up because somebody wants to, consume disproportionately a huge amount of electricity on crypto coin crypto you're, you're assuming things though you are assuming that it will outweigh the because as you said if all of these miners and I want, i'm going to bring it back to sweden here for uh, in a in a moment if all of these miners are, are mining and pulling from the grid and they're sucking up so much energy which sounds absurd this would never happen they're sucking up so much energy that the it, the utility companies, uh, state run or private, would have to raise their prices. It just doesn't add up. Because well, if they, if they, they don't then, raise their pricing, it's only because I'm subsidizing it anyway. There's no, excess no, no. capacity Wait. on the grid. I'm paying for that excess capacity. They're using a disproportionate amount for themselves that I'm subsidizing. They're getting it at the same rate but, as I pay, even though they're using. Sure hundreds thousands however many times as much okay right they should right. pay more yeah yeah should they why why should they pay get, more they're yeah, using they're using because it scales mike right if they're using 100 yeah. kilowatts and you're using one kilowatt per hour then they're still paying for 100 surely you get a volume discount if i buy 100 gallons of milk i get uh, get a discount right and so volume you're discount. saying as long as it doesn't exceed the uh Yes. Available yeah, exactly. resource on the grid. It doesn't matter sure. how much they want to use. It should, this should not matter. If you're happy and you're not experiencing rolling brownouts, it should not, it should not affect you. And it shouldn't even, the, the, the power company shouldn't even be looking at them. So okay. then we get back to the impact on the, the, the environmental impact. Sure. Which is, it so does, there is talk, cost well, of generating that electricity. Here's, here's something that I found very interesting. Sweden, socialist country, by the way, has the, finance authority worried the finance authority why am i such a fan of cryptocurrency what is it about cryptocurrency that's so lucrative and attractive to me because you're a mm. big damn hippie that's what you mm. are it's, it's <laughs> if i was a hippie route. if i was a hippie i think i think that i would probably be against cryptocurrency why do i like cryptocurrency what? um because i like decentralized things that's what i I'm saying. think that that's a hippie I think, standpoint oh is it yeah, i yeah, think yeah. that taking power away from governments, especially when it comes to our mm. money, that's, is the that's, best things is the best thing we can do yeah. to the common man and woman. I, th I think you got me um, twice, John. I, th I think you've convinced me on both points. All right, I'm not being now go ahead and download Coinbase. It's a centralized app yeah. where you can buy cryptocurrency. They'll probably get leaked, and your data will get sold off. Your data is already yeah. sold off, yeah. so it doesn't yeah. matter. No, no, no. You you convinced me uh, both on the energy consumption and on the fact or the point of why is the finance uh, de, uh why, why what did you call yeah. it the finance inspection some what, uh, uh, authority whatever yeah yeah, finance, yeah yeah why are they why is it not an iron environmental 
authority question because good, good questions. Finance you know is why? a competitor because the, to Swed- because the Swedish krona, the Swedish crown, aka okay, the, their currency, mm-hmm, the Swedish mm-hmm. currency, that is very important to them. They did not yep, join yep. the euro. Nope, euro I'm sorry. Whatever it was called. Um, John wins on both points. They they are they are scared. This is a currency that crosses borders as easy as packets. Yeah, I yeah, can no, send I like you one dollar or a thousand dollars within seconds. So, like Peter, and I'm still interested in the uh, environmental impact. Uh, but to Peter, I want to point out: see, I can be convinced of things if you actually make a good point. Oh! <laughs> attack. Oh! Get attacked! Get attacked! <laughs> Shut down! You're off the show. Get on the brig. Walk the plank. You're done for. Um, I, I also, Peter, really... I just wanted to point out. I just wanted to point out two things. Ethereum, the two that were mentioned in that article, Ethereum is moving to something called proof of stake, and it is not. Uh, it, it's basically going to obliterate mining. You will not be able to mine Ethereum on hardware. The way it works um, it, to, to generate new coins would be through staking, um, which is the method of like storing your crypto inside of a, a, I believe it'll either be a pool or if you're big enough and you have enough uh, on yourself to be able to generate new tokens. I'm not smart enough to understand the technicalities, but it is totally energy efficient and will cost hundreds of a fraction, like just a tiny amount. Bitcoin, there's only 21 million Bitcoin ever. There won't ever be any more. And yeah. we've mined 18 and a half million already. Hmm. Yeah. So there, it's a means to an end, right? On both fronts. I de- the second point, I'm sorry, but it just makes it actually, I think, worse because they're going to use more energy to get the, the last little fraction yeah. of it. Correct. But yeah. It'll take I, another I, hundred I, years to mine. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, yeah. But I mean, I'm, I'm half convinced. I really like Mike's, I know we're running out of time here, but I really like Mike's point where it compared it to gold. And I think at some point it will kind of level out. I am worried about the ecological impact because it does feel like just a waste of energy at the moment. And I would love to see some more stats about that. Um, and I think lastly, fuck you, Mike. Um, for, uh, <laughs> uh, so, I'm sorry, dear. I know, I know I, I, like I, to I hit you hard. I didn't mean it. <laughs> no, no, no. It's fine. Good. It's, good. it's fine. <laughs> it's, like, it's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. You 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 wanna you wanna let your guard down and be convinced by it on a topic that you know nothing about in the first place, and use that as an example. Oh, damn. Of, you know. <laughs> oh, that's good. Just brutalizing each other. Yeah, that's fun. That's fun. Good stuff. Come right. at me, bro. I know you. Well, you'll always get me with a cyn- a cynical argument about government. Like you come at me with yeah. that, I'm a sucker. So yeah. All right. That's kind of got me as well, actually. Yeah. Sorry. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.